Good afternoon, guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Git version of Videoland Movie Creator. So the other day I was looking at webupdate.org and I noticed this article, Videoland Movie Creator Gets Video Effects. I had not realized just how much progress they were making on it or that there was a Git available, or in this case, a PPA. If you scroll on down their site, you see they've got an image of it. Let's just pull that up. See, it's definitely looking interesting. It's even got more features than I anticipated. Uh, you see they've got a daily build PPA for it available for Ubuntu. If you are interested in that, do feel free to use that command for it. I'll have a link to the web update article in the source code below that you can take a look at, and you can add this repository to your Ubuntu system at your leisure. However, I am on Arch Linux, so I don't have to worry about that. I can just go into the terminal and type in sudo clyde-s vlmc-git. Now I've already installed this so I don't really need to uh, to install it again so I'll just show you what happens if I search for it. So clyde-s vlmc in just a moment brings up that in the AUR we've got vlmc's git. It shows version 2010.11.12 from earlier this month. When I installed it though, it installed the November 29th version, so it is the most up-to-date one you can possibly get, meaning it's possibly broken. But let's go ahead and just run it, see how it looks, see how it runs, see what's new about it. If I go to Applications, Multimedia, and then to Videoland Movie Creator, fingers crossed it should open, and there we go. We've got the new project wizard we can use. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project. This looks like the perfect place for a project, that's fine by me. I'm just going to go ahead and call it Test Project and say Next. The video and audio will do 0720p since that's about what this laptop will support just because of the hardware specs. And Finish. And now that we're done, there we go, we've got a video editor. Maximize it. You see we've got our clip preview, our project preview, the media library. If we wanted to add new media to it, we can import things from wherever. All right, so I went ahead and added four clips to my media library, just pulled them at random from one of my uh, regular directories. And now if I wanted to use these, I could just drag them down into the video clip area. There we go. It sort of reacts like OpenShot would, where it doesn't seem to snap to much of anything, but I'm not gonna complain about that. If I were to add a second clip, you see there, it, it does create a second track there. A uh, little more interesting than I thought, in uh, some other editors you can right click and create new tracks. This one doesn't appear to have that option available yet. But the biggest update, the one that was featured on webupdate.org, was the effects list that's been added. You see here over on the left. If you are familiar with Caden Live or with the effects that come with it, a lot of times free or plugins are what you'd be using. For example, you've got Brightness, you've got the Blue Screen or plugin, lots and lots of plugins now available. Now this could just be a bug on my end. I've done a little bit of testing. It doesn't appear that the clip or project previews are going to show anything for me. It might be a bug in the version that I'm using. But basically the point of this was just to show you that VLMC has made some significant progress. Uh, they are doing a daily build at this point. It's calling itself 0.2.0 alpha. And it does have effects that you can apply to things now by just dragging and dropping them. Let's just try that on a couple of them. You see there's the effects. I don't believe you can actually do anything to them at this point. You can't make any changes or any specific uh, things of, about the properties or anything. Uh, but they are well on their way to having a decently functioning, stable editor just as soon as they get the actual video editing part working. Have you tried out Videoland Movie Creator before? VLC is one of my favorite video watching applications of all time. So I'm very interested to see how this movie creator, how this video editor turns out because having a good cross-platform stable application to edit video would be wonderful. Uh, if you're interested, give this a try. You can do it on Ubuntu and of course on Arch Linux. I'm sure it is available for a bevy of other distros. If you do have any success with it, leave a video response below and I will be sure to approve that as quickly as possible. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.